Welcome to what happened in the world today. For some odd reason, Steve wasn't available. Oh, wait, wait. I think I see him. There I am. I made it. I was late, but I made it. Wait, did we start the show? No, we did a pre-show without me, but we didn't start the show without me, right? No, no. I, I don't know what we did. We did something, but I have family in town, so I forgot. So on this episode, we talk about uh, me at the show, the show we went to see. Yes. And then we talk about uh, holiday presents. Which, yes. if you're watching this on YouTube, it's too late. It's Christmas. You'll have to buy them for them afterwards. Uh, let me get out of that light. Let's see. What else do we talk about? We well, talked we... about uh, a lady with bobbles. Yes, from from the UK. Wait a minute. Did we talk about her bobbles, or do we? We did but, talk did we about talk her bobbles. About that on our show? Yes, we can. Uh, okay. And then what else did we talk about? We talk oh, about the record-breaking yes. uh, opening day of Spider-Man with 1.1 million people. And we talked about the gifts that I got you that uh, you told, told me that you're going to call the federal uh, post office and have Susie arrested. What a concept. Yeah. And of course, and we, we talked about that Hummer. Steve was trying to get a Hummer. Yes. And I said that I wanted that for Christmas. So don't forget, I want that for Christmas. So I want pink box for Christmas. Oh, yes, and, that's uh, right. I forgot about that. And then we did out of nonsense, and I showed a few things around Town Square, and I drove uh, for a little while. So, and of course, luck. don't forget about that Rudolph decoration that was attacked by the deer. Yeah, so good luck. Enjoy watching the show. Hopefully you can follow along. You probably won't be able to. But with that, uh, why don't you start the show, Scott? Sounds like a good idea. Yeah, my way home. Welcome to the Don't Know Show. I'm Steve, and I'm late. And, I, and I'm Scott, and I was early. Oh, and this is a show about how bad life decisions led to a YouTube show, podcast, and Twitch stream. So uh, my son graduated this week, so we have family in town. And I just got out of uh, the Banachek show uh, watching the world's greatest mentalist, Banachek. Wait a minute. Wasn't Banachek a TV show from the late 70s? Uh, this is his last name. This guy worked with the amazing Randy on the Alpha Project. This guy did a study with, um, oh, crap. I can't remember the university. But him and this other guy had them all believing that psychic was real. So you, well, these two guys, of course psychics are real. What a goofy thing to they, say. They had them believing that they could... Uh, they had telekinesis. Oh, well, that now and that's were, pretty cool because we haven't been able to prove that yet. They were, yeah, they were ready to uh, do the study. Um, it, it's kind of blocked off. I don't know why I got the sign blocked off. Bandit checks mind games live. Yeah, that was him. So that's pretty cool. So I am at the tallest structure uh, west of the Mississippi, which is the stratosphere, and beautiful. So it's taller than the Space Needle. Oh, uh, you just went. Far, the Space Needle is like. What? Are you back now? You went away. Bye bye. Yeah, you're back. Okay. Oh, uh, somebody's smoking dope. Well, it is legal there. But uh, yeah, this is, no, no, it is, it, well, not in public. You have to be in a private residence doing ah, that kind of stuff. Okay. So um, what are I going to say? Um, Space Needle is only about two thirds as tall as the Strat. Really? I thought the Space Needle was huge. It is. This is bigger. Okay. I'll take your word for it. I'm not even going to bother looking it up. You can look it up. I, I can't go back. I could go back. I could. They have it on the wall. No, you, the no, you're heading towards your car. That's not a bad thing. Oh, look at that. Yep. And you can jump off. Let's see what happens when I go in the elevator. Hi, Did Jeannie. Me or not? I can't see the. I can't see the, the chat. Hey, so I can't see on. the chat or the show subjects. Well, you didn't anything. make any, so we're just punting. There aren't any show subjects. We used them all up. You used them all up, and you didn't come up uh, with anything new this week. Well, I'm live. I'm live in Vegas. So let's or, talk about the picture that's going on behind you. 
I have a picture behind me? I don't think so. You Well, you have a video. And I worked. Hey, I didn't lose me when I was in the uh, elevator. Let's see. I'm up. I'm up five more levels. Let's see if uh, this looks a little better. Oh, that's kind of cool. Yeah. Just a little. I'm kind of curious why. Oh, there. It must be just. It's like it's rerunning. So I don't know what. Uh, oh, that's right. You can't see what's behind me. No, I, I can see. It's just a really tiny screen. There it oh, goes. There it, is. There there it goes. goes. As I said, it's restarting over. Is this a guy or is this a video? This, well, you... this is me on a bus run last night. At this, okay, so at it's this not place. some video off of YouTube you're replaying. No, this is, this is live. Well, it's not live anymore. Well, it's, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's my recording of a live show. Cut it. That's awesome. That's pretty cool. It's 160,000 lights. Wow, this guy's done a good job on it, too. Phenomenal. It's um, That's crazy. They raised money for some kind of event, and apparently it got so big and it was so hard on the – I mean, I'll tell you right now, when I pulled up there in the bus, it freaked everybody out because there's no room. So next year they're moving it to the Walworth County Fairgrounds. Wow. Well, that's cool that the guy's got that kind of following. So yeah, it's pretty cool. impressive. So – Anywho's, Anywho's, um, I'm, I'm going to drive now. So I, this is not my vehicle, so I don't have a place to put the phone. So, so you're it's gonna, so you're not driving in your car. You're driving in somebody else's car. Yeah. Well, I'm driving though. I'm Why are you person. driving somebody else's car? Shouldn't they be driving their car? Because I have their car and they have my car. Mm, I'm very confused. How can you be confused? Why would you uh, be in their car. car? Why wouldn't they drive their own car? Because their car, my car is bigger. Therefore, does that work? Yeah, that works. Therefore, because their car is, my car is bigger, they have the wheelchair and the person who needs the wheelchair in that car. Ah, okay. That so does make more okay? sense. Oops, I turned on the wife of Hannah. I'm trying to get the volume up here. Well, you know how much rain you guys get there. Say what? You know how much rain you guys get in Las Vegas. Yeah. Of course you have your wipers on. That just makes sense. Your wipers dry rot. It's kind of like, it's kind of like, uh, what is it, Seattle where it rains all the time? Yeah, Seattle, London. Uh, yeah, your wipers dry rot here. And then, uh, whoa, what happened? Did you fall out of the bus there? Just so you know, you just got far away like you're in a tunnel. Dude, it pulls over and steps out of his vehicle going down a ramp. A hooker what stepped out of a vehicle and started walking down a ramp. Oh. Is this a new joke? Uh, uh, uh. All right. so it's hard to hear you now. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Can you hear me? It's very bad. Oh, it got bad again? It's very bad. It's probably because you're so far away. There, is that better? There you go. More better. There's a, yeah, there's a button. I hit it on the screen. I don't know what it does. It does weird crap. Uh, obviously, it's like a like a talk over button. For, I don't know what the hell it is. Because we could still hear you, but it was like very, it was so muted. It was incredible. Yeah, you were too. So I, I don't know what it was. Very weird. Tinkle, tinkle, tinkle. And of course, now we're Very hearing weird. the turn signal really good. Well, yeah, because you're right by the turn signal. I've got you set in the dash. There you so. see. I, I I feel like an elf on a shelf now. All right, let's guys let me go. So I'm driving in. I'm talking. So we'll just make up subjects as we go. So I already I, I already put subjects up. I took care so, of it. So Banachek is really cool. Banachek, like I said, is in my opinion the greatest mentalist of all time. This guy worked with the amazing Randy. You know who the amazing Randy is? Um, he's that Randy? amazing guy. Yeah, he's very amazing. But Banachek invented the bullet catch and or, or perfected it. And the show that Penn and Teller have been closing their show with for like 20 years, that's the that's that's his, his version. This yeah, I was gonna crazy. say that the bullet catch was invented when bullets were invented with muskets. Well, that, okay, where you survive it, not where they 
to get shot and get killed. <laughs> this is where the magician gets shot. Audience comes in, signs the bullet, signs the casing, put in a gun, shoot it, catch it in a metal cup in your mouth. It's crazy. I wonder if I can make that better. Can I make that more better? Is that more better? That's probably not more better. No, it, cool. It's working fine. We get, as long as you're not turning the wheel, we see your face. Yeah. Well, that, no big loss there. Make comments on that, folks. There. How's that for blocking it? I got it. Oh, that's a big bus. That is a big. That's a. That, oh, that's the flex bus. The flex. F L I X bus. So the bus when it started off was really cheap. It was like a dollar to ride from here to Arizona. And then they show a movie on the bus. So if you wanted to go down and see a movie for a dollar, you go down and ride the bus and see a movie. All right, that does not make any sense. Well, yeah, but you also go to Arizona. Yeah, but a dollar doesn't make any sense. Well, I don't know if they do that anymore. They probably don't do that anymore. We're picking up some really, really awesome clicking noises from you. Like uh, static electricity. Phone, phone bouncing around or something. I don't know. Oh, well, Can you guys will just have to deal with it. That's not part of being remote and driving. So, oh, Jesus, people. Okay. So, if you ever come to Las Vegas, leave plenty of following room. Leave plenty of distance between the cars. These people are crazy. Crazy, crazy. Because they're looking at all the lights. They don't know where they're going. Exactly. The lanes, the lanes are marked so poorly because the sun beats down on them that, like, even, like, if you have lane departure stuff, it picks up the tire treads as lanes. So people have no idea where they're going or where they're driving. It's just, it's, ooh, siren. They're ooh, coming to get like you, that. Steve. No, that's an ambulance. That's, that's a wambulance. That's, like, right there. Ambulance. Yeah, community ambulance. Because I'm by the, uh, I don't know where I'm by. I'm by a hospital. But cool. So, so yeah, so that was the show I went to see. So, like I said, we have family in town because my son graduated college. He then graduated. So, what I want to know is, did you get two boxes from Amazon? Maybe. Okay, why is we not going through the light here? All right, this is effed up. This is where the accident is? No. All right, this is all screwy. All right, I'm going to go in the other lane here because this is just way far, too, too far way back. I should go by the flick bus and cut all these people off. Nah, I'll stay here. I'm on the show. I don't want to do that and then try and cut people off. Wow, look how calm he is. Is that a stuffed bunny? Nope, he's not calm. It's just the way I'm holding oh. He had nowhere to go, so he just said, okay, I'll deal with this for a little bit. All right, so I was busy dealing with traffic. So yes. my question for you is, did you, uh, did you get up there? Did you get packages? Packages? Yes, two packages. One yesterday and one uh, Friday. I, I'm not sure. What do you mean you're not sure? Well, I got this box and I got this box. Yeah, those are packages. What do you call those? I call them boxes. From Amazon. Well, one they both came in my mailbox. Okay. They're, they're, you are an idiot, okay? All right. You're an idiot. Is there a label on the box? There is. What does the label say? Read me everything on the label. O-W-M-M-I-Z incense holder. Okay. Is there a shipping label? No. Then how do they know to put it in your box? That's why no I was curious no about. No, nothing. It's just a box. Oh, hey, that looks cool. All right. Well, open it up. Open it how up. How the hell did they get it to you if there's no shipping label on it? Well, there is a possibility that my wife got them and opened them up for me and just gave me the box. Okay, that's realized. against the law. That's a federal offense, Susie. I'm calling the feds on you. They were clearly addressed to Scott Bobeck. Now, <laughs> you you do realize that I never open up her mail, right? I put it on the counter. She goes, you know, I open up yours. I go, exactly. Against the law. You're going to jail. And she'll say the only bad part about that is 
Well, the good thing is I don't have to go to work, but the bad part is I don't get Scott's cooking. Oh, whatever. Whatever. You're cooking in prison cooking. What's the, what's the difference? Huge. <laughs> you know that. I don't know. I don't think it is. So, yeah, yeah so those are, those are two Amazon packages. Okay. Merry yeah. Christmas. Merry Christmas. I'm, uh, I'm so trying to what? I'm trying to unwrap it for you so I could do this on well, air, kind of like you, what you do. Just open it. I'm working on it. It's got like it's 400 only, pounds of tape on it. It's only an hour show. And and that's so if we let it go a full hour because you're driving. So, so he's over. I won't be driving the whole hour. I told you I got a 15 minute drive to get to where I'm getting. To. All right. So. Um, Wow, this tape is strong. Right, so, Holy cow. So you're so you're opening up the first gift first. So when you saw those two packages, you didn't think of bringing something to open them with? Did you well, know they were from me? You didn't even know they're from me. Yeah, no, it didn't have your name on it or anything. I just guessed. Because because she took the label off that has the four stop from Steven on it. Um maybe. So all right, I almost got it. I almost got it. Where's the where's the where's the slip inside? Where's the slip inside that 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 has the gift that says Merry Christmas? Oh, oh there, right. there's a slip inside, maybe. There was no. It was in the. It's in, in the, the shipping stuff she thing. threw out. It's oh. in the stuff she threw out. You All know right. You make it a gift, and you can write stuff in there. I got a black dot. Yes. That's a hole. So if you ever get trapped somewhere, you put that hole down like the uh oh, and you can there escape you. out that hole. Oh, like an acne Don't hole. Yeah, it's an acne hole. I remember those acne holes. Those were I always wanted okay, one so of those. That's the mat. That mat is well now you have one. That mat you put down first, and you put the outfit that got you on top of it. So when you put the incense on it, it doesn't stain whatever it's pouring onto. Okay, apparently, apparently, this is a dragon. Well, it's more than a dragon. It's an incense waterfall. So you take the cones, you put the cones, and you got to buy the cones with the holes in them, and you put it on top. You see the spot in the top there to put the cone on? Ah, yes. You should have got some cones also. Then the smoke goes down through ah. that. It comes out the dragon's nose and pours down the, the rocks in front of the dragon. Okay. Cones. Yeah. Cool, huh? So you light Indian them in the incense. incense. Yeah, but it's an incense waterfall. So when you put the cone on top of where it goes, you light it, and then the smoke comes down, comes out the dragon's nose, then pours on the rocks below it. And then they smell good too. Yeah, you're too far away to really see. The, the, you'd have to move to each circle so you can see what it does. What do you think? Do you do, you do incense at all? Do not. Well, you're going to now. Well, Susie will. Because they're cool. Because I sneeze when I get around this stuff. No, not this stuff. Hang on. This, this stuff you'll just go, well, it smells better. This one says something about. It being an egg. Well, open it up. I'm working on it. This one's opening up a lot easier. Why are you opening it off camera? Because I can't hold it up in the air without dropping it. Okay, wow. apparently. I thought you were much more talented than this. Apparently, it's a dragon egg. Yeah, it's pretty cool, huh? It's got a stand in there, too. Don't throw the stand out. It's like Look, a little ring. It comes with a stand. Is that a stand? Where's the where's the stand? It's a there styrofoam be, box that the egg no, was in. There, there should be a ring. Is there a ring? Well, let's see. There should be a ring that it stands on. All right. This isn't necessarily a ring, but it kind of looks like one of those things that the elephants would stand on during the circus shows. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. Oh, it's not hollow? It's solid? Well, wow. It's solid, it had, but it has an indentation on the orange side. The bottom side is flat. Oh, wow. This side okay. has an indentation. 
So the I egg, just thought it was her ring. The egg sits in here like so, I would assume. Yeah, somehow. So what do you think? Cool Notice egg. the color of the dragon? The color the royalty is purple. Yeah. So you're insinuating you, that I'm the king. I didn't get you some cheap shit red dragon or some cheap shit green dragon. I got you the royalty purple dragon. How cool is that? That's very cool. Thank you, Steve. Because I'm cool. And I saw those and I thought you, you needed those. I didn't want to open it until the show started. Well, how'd you know they were for you? Did Susie tell you they were for you? I knew they were from me and I saw the bags that they came in. I just wanted well, to make this more fun. Well, you didn't make it fun. You made me throw Susie under the federal uh, bus. Oh, shit. I'm turning the wrong way. All right, the bus, the ride just got longer. Because you do what I do. You get so involved. Here, Steve and I have the exact same thing. Even though we're talking, which means we're technically distracted, we're focusing on driving safe. However, when you focus on driving safe and do something else, you forget where you're going. I do it all the time. I'm like, dude, 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 oh, shit, I was supposed to turn here. Yeah, I can only focus on so many things at a time. Yes. And one of them is not getting hit by these crazy people. And the other one is talking to you about the federal laws in, and on the Don't Know show. Now, so, you know what's really kind of cool about the egg in particular? You wanted one? Well, I'm hungry. I didn't eat dinner yet because I had Santa Claus today, so I ate lunch late. So I'm really hungry, so maybe I could eat the, the, baby, the little baby dragon. Yeah, don't do it. It's acrylic. So don't but but it. no, it goes along with our first subject. What, blue egg? No, the first subject is about a Welsh woman who amassed a collection of 1,760 Christmas bauble decorations. Did you freeze up what on me? There you go. Well, they call them Christmas uh, baubles it, because she's from the UK. Forth. Yeah, you're back. So, anywho, okay, Christmas baubles. What's a what's a bauble? Is it is it an ornament or is it anything like a, a statue? Anything to do with with like well, Christmas? Bauble is a UK term, which excuse me, which or, basically means something bright and shiny, or you know, a doodad, thingamajig. So, so can it be like a statuette too, or is it? Yes. Or is it just the stuff they hang on the trees? Yeah, nope. It could be a statuette. Hang on, let me get there. It's finally opening up. I completely forgot that you weren't going to be home at first, so I didn't pre-open everything. Well, I totally forgot to send you the message to remind you that I didn't know what I would be doing because of family in town. So, anywho's, and then and then I was busy sitting at a table trying to win money. Um, when I realized that, oh shit. The show starts because I saw your text finally. So I forgot. So I went and saw the show and I figured after the show, but I if I wouldn't have lost money before the show, then I wouldn't have been back winning it back. But I was winning it back. So that's the good news. <laughs> what was that? Hoover's just knocked over the dragon egg. Knocked it over off the table? Well, off the thing that I have sitting next to me that he jumps up on. Oh, wow. It's not going to hurt any. It's solid. Yeah, I know, but could have hit the goobers. Well, no, he just knocked it off onto the floor. Oh, okay. But anyway, but anyway. this Welsh woman started her collecting her bobble ornaments in 1999, and she's now earned a Guinness World Record with 1,760 pieces. Her hey, name is Sylvia is Pope. Part. This is the best part about Scott doing the uh, subjects. We get Guinness World Book Records again. Yes, we haven't had any in a while. That's not true. I had one just uh, last week or the week before last. That wasn't a real one. Yes, it was. Only the ones I come up with are real. Everyone that you come up with is fake. It's fake news. No. No. Say it is. Partied like it's 1999 is what you're saying. Hey, we have a new person that's chatting with us. Oh, hello, new person is chatting with us. Scott won't tell me your name. It says Need Boarhead 2. Say that again. A need. A N E E D Moorhead 2. I need First time two. chat. Yay. Me too. 
So anyway, back in 1999, this uh, this lady went to visit her son who lived in Brighton uh, to spend the time with New Year's with him. Went to a friend's house, and when they walked in, they had all these baubles on the ceiling, and she thought it was really cool. And they were from all over the world, so she decided to start her own collection. Nice. So they got a picture here, which I should learn how to share, right? It's been a while since I've shared. You remember oh, sure? wait a minute. Is it going to let me show it? Oh, it's a video. I don't want to put a video up. <laughs> Why? Because I'm already doing a video, remember? When you do it, it's not so bad, but when I try to do it, it screws everything up. Oh, does it? Too many yeah, pictures are okay, time. but videos don't work so good. All right, I'm going to uh, get out of the vehicle and start walking, so it's going to get dark for a little bit. Like that. She's been walking down the yard all the live long day. The yard? Well, the driveway. Where, where are you now? I'm at the... Uh, oh, crap. I'm at Town Square. Town Square. Oh, I thought you were going home. Mall. No, we're going to dinner at the yard house. That's why when you said yard, I was like, did I say I was going to the yard house? Uh-oh, you just got robot again. Yeah, that's going to happen. Yeah, it's it is. Robot and not robot so, anywho, how far? How? What time is your uh, reservation? Six thirty. What time so, is our show over? All right. So, why are you going in now? You've got like almost half an hour. Because I can go over here and we can. Because when I do remotes, I like to show you the stuff that you can see. Oh, and then, so you don't right? want to know about the sixty-five last-minute gifts and that will arrive in time for the holidays that I found. For me. You have gifts for me? Oh, look, another fake one. You have gifts for me or not gifts for me? Well, it says 65 last minute gifts that will uh, that will arrive in time for the holidays. I haven't bought you anything yet because everything Ooh. that I wanted to get for you, I can't find. Okay, well, who's chatting with us? Uh, well, the first one was, like I said, a need more head. The second one is one of those fake ones where you could buy followers, which we know is a crock of crap. Yeah, I don't want to buy followers. Buying followers are stupid. So let's see if you recognize this guy. He's somebody famous. Who's that? Oh, he looks really. Oh, I know who that is. That's Albert Einstein. No, Eric Clapton. Oh, it's Albert Einstein. Everybody knows that. What about what about this guy? You ever watch uh, Jimmy Kimmel and the Roots? No. No. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. wait. So you don't know who that is either. What about this guy? He's married to somebody. He's married to Nicole Kidman. What no. wasn't was wasn't he part of the Brady Bunch? No, he got you know. For for a guy who's into music, I'm very disappointed into what you know or don't know. Well, here's the thing that's interesting. I'm into music. I never watched any of the videos. Yeah, but do you know the artist's names? No. Oh. Well, unless your name like is in the name of the band, like Steve Miller band, then Steve Miller. There is no Steve Miller and Steve Miller band. I see. I rest my case. <laughs> Harry <laughs> Chapin. How about that? Harry Chapin. Granted, there is no longer a Harry Chapin because he has passed on. But Kids in the cradle and the silver spoon. Don't cool. forget about the little boy blue and the man of the moon. Yeah. So that's cool. And I okay. thought there was a way to block these guys that do this, but there is. I just forget what it is. You can remove them, but I forget what it is. So, anywho, I just, I never anyway, understood so what, that. So what gifts, so what gifts are there available? All right. Now I got to reopen that because I went elsewhere. Okay. Apparently, Apparently, you can get the second generation Echo Show 8. And it's no, still, no. that's what it says. Echo, it, it says you can yeah, get I don't it. want the Echo, the Echo Show. I want the that. Echo Show 8. And here it's twenty seven percent off. You could buy it for ninety five bucks. We're we're conserving water here in the desert, so that's how we make fountains now. With light. Yeah. All makes that perfect sense to me. That way we don't waste any water. Crazy, huh? It is goofy. And of course, if you're not a big fan of the Echo, the uh, second generation Nest Hub is going for fifty bucks instead of a hundred. No, I don't like the. No. All right, how I've about the face echo. Facebook portal? It's Facebook Facebook portal. Facebook no, portal. What? That's all they're they're selling right now. That's all that's available. 
no, there's 65 things here. I, well, you just want me to go through them and, and not let you get any words in? No, what I want to know is, are there anything besides, like, these things for, like, Echo or Amazon or whatever it's called? All right. What How about called? a Philips Hue white and color ambiance A19 LED starter kit? How about a gift card to Escapeology? It's an escape room. Kind of like the safe room? Yeah. The safe house, safe house. That's where we're going. That's where we're going. Yard Yard house. house. I went to um, Whirly Ball with uh, the group that I took out on Saturday. Oh, well, the worst part is they don't do reservations. So I thought you had a 630 reservation. Well, that's what everybody's meeting here. Then you got to go wait in line. Oh. And then they give you the little buzzer thing. So that's it. Uh, oh, look, look, you can get a smart robot vacuum. I have one of those. Is it a Yeti? No. Okay. Well, you could have gotten that. See that? Oh, yeah. Pretty cool. They can drink and paint. All right. Mine never look like this. Oh, check this out. Mine Settlers of like Catan. That. Iconic board game. I, I used to play that. What game? Settlers of Catan. I don't know what that... Say that again, slowly. Settlers. You know what settlers are, right? Like yeah, the settlers, settlers that settled the pioneers of the West? Yeah. Okay. Of. You know what the word of means, right? Yeah. Catan. C-A-T-A-N. I don't know what that is. Well, it's... Basically, it's it's the world that this game is in. Oh, okay. Don't know it. So that's Have you ever heard of Tom Wom? Where you can buy sugar. Tom Wom? Yes. No. One of the most pro- prolific game designers of the 80s and 90s. Really? He invented all these goofy-ass games that were huh. just fun, and this is one of the games. I did not I know that. I used to play that. Yep. Okay. And it's on sale for 30 bucks, normally 55. And you heard that Risk is back, right? It went back up in the, the top 20 games. Really? Yes. Did not know that. That's back. Um, I've never heard of a game called Planet that sounds different. Planet? And Gloomhaven is 100 bucks. Wow. wow. Look at this place. I have no idea how to pronounce that. Did the Noy Pits? N O I T I Z. Is it backwards on your screen? It is not, but it's very blurry. Uh, let me see if I can focus it. N O V P I T Z. N O Noy Noy Pits. Yeah. That's what I say. I say Noy Pits. The Noy Pits. What does it say Noy underneath pits. it? Bar and Grill. That is the Bar and Grill. Yeah. Okay. Oh look, I got a spot on my my. I see that. that. Yep. Cool. Did I tell you that I finally no. broke down and bought earbuds? Oh, did you? I forgot yes. my headset. I should have brought my headset, but I forgot it. Sorry. Well, I have Samsung earbuds that match my phone. I'm trying really? to get used to them. It's kind of an unusual thing because they sort of get sore after a while. They're yeah, not as comfortable as my like, headset. Some of them I don't like. They hurt my ears. So that's kind of a bummer. But so, anywho's, I don't know if it's because we started late. Well, it wasn't that late. It was only like five minutes. It's we halfway. We the halfway part already. Wow. Well, then it's time for you to do our genuine positivity message. So, what is our genuine positivity message for? Is this is this Christmas? This is, is this Christmas show? show coming out. Yes, it is. And it, by the way, Christmas Merry show. Christmas, everyone. Merry Christmas. Why didn't we start there? Wow, listen to an airplane going over the top. Yep, it's pretty loud. All right. And of course, being that this is Christmas, I came up with a Christmas positive message. Okay. Being of good cheer is something you hear a lot in Christmas movies and for good reason. If you are in a good mood and good cheer, those around you will also be in a good mood with good cheer. And that is what the Christmas spirit is really what it's all about. Nice. So Dakota put us in the queue. We're like 20 minutes away. So, Which is perfect because in 20 minutes the show's over. <laughs> uh, yeah, or well, 25 to 30 minutes away. I very want to come over here and let you guys see the picture or see the picture, see the picture. Of course, you can see the damn picture. I want you to see the tree. 
So I'm coming over here so I can turn and you can see the tree. Is there a movie theater close by? Yeah, it's on the other side. Why? You can well, smell the popcorn? Well, no. It's just that you heard that there's a new record there also, right? At movie theaters? There's a record at movie theaters? A new world record. I don't know what that means. Well, Spider-Man has just broken all the records for mo- at the movie theaters for opening week. Oh, Spider-Man came out this week? Did you see it the did, tree? It did, and it went you crazy. See the, see the, Absolutely the, ate shit crazy. You, you see the Christmas tree and a palm tree next to it? Yeah, that's pretty cool. Does the palm tree light up too? Been, no, they should have lit up the palm tree too. That would have been funnier. Open the door, let her in. Spider-Man No Way Home eclipsed previous box office records on its first night as some of the biggest chains, theater chains in the nation. 1.1 1. 1 million movie growers attended the opening night of that movie. So, so I, I guess that that's going to be bigger than Matrix. Are you going to go see Matrix on the 22nd? No, but I will go no. see it. Well, yeah. We... You know, dealing with my dad and, and, and Santa Claus and all that sort of stuff, there's just no freaking time. I know. Oh, how did Santa Claus do? Did Santa Claus have a good weekend? Uh, yes. The kids were awesome this week. The weather was decent. So, yeah, we, I had a lot of fun. Oh, good. So, But I was pretty impressed with that because Spider-Man, I wasn't sure if I was going to see it because, you know, I've seen two different iterations of Spider-Man movies. Plus yeah, but the this rid- is actually this is actually a new story finally. That's what they said. That's why I'm going to go see it. Yeah, because the other one was the same. There were two of them were three of them were the same Spider-Man with um, which is different Spider-Man as the right. Other see, I'm I still haven't seen um, the Eternals. That's how far behind we are at doing anything. Well, I haven't seen the Eternals either. But well, yeah, but we wanted I, to see that see one. That Eternals? was the one we were really looking forward to. You have Disney Plus. No. Oh, you should see uh, uh, you should get Disney Plus because I'm liking the new um, Hawkeye series. Oh, yeah. I heard about that. It's, it's actually good. So that's actually a pretty good show to watch. Well, it works but, for me. So anywho. Theoretically, the code is here. He put us in a queue, but I don't see him. Well. But that's weird. Does he have his girlfriend with him? No. I don't know. Huh. Because that would make perfect sense him. why you don't see him. Well, I thought I'd see him, and I thought I'd put him on the show, and then that would make him mad at me. <laughs> yes. So. Which is really funny, because he's on his own show, so it's not like he's shy. Yeah, he just doesn't it. want to be associated with us old guys. Yeah, he doesn't want to be associated with me. He might be sitting at the bar watching the game. Oh, well, I don't he's see He's not him old enough to be at the bar. He's 23. It's not old enough. You got to be 30. Okay, if you say so, not. So, yeah. All right. Guess what time it is? It, it's time for the genuine positivity message. We but... did that already. Oh. It's well, time for one of the subject matters that you would have picked out if you were available. Okay, and that is... I actually picked one out that I figured you would you would have picked out. Okay, what would I have picked out? You know about General Motors, they're finally going to be delivering that electric Hummer pickup truck that they were talking about? The first delivery is the next week. What? The what the, they're going to be delivering? The EV trucks. The Hummers. Really? The pickups. The Hummer? Yes. The Hummer Electrics is actually getting delivered? It is Did actually getting delivered. That's awesome. So so you saw Rivian, they went public, right? And they they posted they lost like seven billion dollars or something like that. It's I, I just don't understand that. How do you lose it? I don't know how they did that. It's crazy. That's absolutely crazy. But what I got a kick out of, remember how we were talking about the crate engine, which is the world's most the powerful engine right now? Right. And it was like like eleven hundred horsepower or something. Yeah, we talked about that at the last show. Right. Well, believe it or not, this EV motor is a thousand horsepower with eleven thousand five hundred pounds of foot torque. Uh, pound, yeah, right. I said that right. Yeah, a hundred and ten thousand dollars. 
What? $110,000 for this electronic okay. cover. No, no. And and not, guess, not. guess what kind of mileage range it has? Not buying it. 329 mile range. Yeah, I'm not oops, buying it. No. My pickup truck, that. my little Nissan pickup truck gets that 329 mile range. Yeah, I'm not buying that. That's crazy. I know. Well, why would you want to? We're supposed to be getting one for free, aren't we? Yes. Aren't they, they supposed to give us each one to drive for a year for they testing it? To, please keep that to Scott. Oh, here we go. This is why I came over here. It's finally going to come by. Watch the guy ring the bell at me or something to get out of the way or something. It would be pretty funny. So I'm going to turn around and go like this. Oh, look, there's something coming. Yeah. It's a little itty bitty choo doo, Dwayne. That's pretty cool, huh? It is. They have one, they used to have one of those in the mall in Rockford. Oh, yeah? Yep. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. So, of course, of course, of course, there's a train robbery going on. Uh oh. Grab the kid in the back there. So, that's crazy. So the great train, Christmas train robbery was happening. Cool. Uh, can you hear the text going off? The what? Know, that, the text. Are those oh, is that what that is? The, they sound like a buzz, buzz. Yeah. Yeah, that's what we're hearing. It's all right. Uh, it's not loud or obnoxious or anything. Okay. Yeah, that's my family. Just trying to be weird. I'm well, like, trying to figure out, should we come in? Is it cold? Should we wait in the car until we get our seat? Is, is it gonna cold? Get cold when she sits our out high here? temperature today was 31. Wait, hang on. Nope. What's the temperature there? Mid 40s? Uh, it might be. It's, it's, it gets down to freezing here at night. Uh, last night was freezing. Today got it's getting warmer. Let me see if I get the temperature. Oh, it's 48 right now. I can't do it. That's a five. Wow. 45 degrees. Yeah, it is that's what they're going to say. That's, yeah, that's, we're, exactly mid, that's exactly mid-40. Yeah, we're down in the mid-20s right now. That was a good guess. That was a great guess, mid forty. It were, it were, it were. At the yard house. That's where we're going to go have dinner. I like that. Still haven't found anybody, huh? No, I. they're waiting in the car. Dakota's inside or outside somewhere. I don't know. I'm not. I'm on the side over here because I show you the train because I want to see the train come by. So I want to have that. Did I show you this decoration? Oh, that's kind of cool. It's, uh, what do they call that? Candy canes and a bow? Yeah, but there's a, it also means something, doesn't it? Isn't it like supporting like breast cancer survivors or something? No. I thought that's what they were doing. No. Oh, look. Time for scary stories. Ooh. Oh, how cool is there's that? Doors. Yeah, no. Oh, there's a better shot of it. Look at oh, that. yeah, that's much better. Yeah, it's not a bow. It's not a ribbon. Right. Okay. It's not a ribbon. I know. So, I, we've been seeing that there. Some of the decorations that they have here, they cross two candy canes and they put the pink bow on it and it's for breast cancer. No, it's an upside down pineapple. That's where the swingers hang out. Well, I know that. Jeez. Is that why you have the pineapple on your porch? Uh, it's not on my porch. It's at the doorstep to the office. Everybody oh, knows that. Cool. So, anywho, I do have another. Oh, it's coming again. Look at that. That's, wow. That was, that was a it's quick pretty popular. Yeah, look at that. Going around again. Good thing he went ding, ding. I wouldn't pay attention. I would have stepped right into him. If it wasn't for the fact that we need this other show subject, I'd save it for next week because this one's an awesome video. All right, do it. If it's if it's season, if you need it to do it, we got to get back to the uh, the presents too. What gifts can people run out and get on Christmas Day? Oh, here? yeah, that's right. Let's go back to that page. So let's do those. Let's do those last two subjects. Was it a Christmas? And you said you want to use that video, right? Well, yeah. Mm -hmm. Basically, in British, we're British Columbia, this lady has this uh, 
Rudolph decor decoration outside in your yard where the nose was red to get me for Christmas. You want a pink box donut? I thought you said they weren't all that good. No, I just want the pink box. Oh, you want the pink box? Okay. Okay. Go ahead. So anyway, so what do you got? she's got this this reindeer Rud uh, Rudolph the Red Nose reindeer uh, decor out in her yard where the nose blinks red. Okay. And and apparently it is causing issues with the native deer population. They keep attacking Rudolph. Wait, is this seriously? Or this is, is seriously. How does that happen? Well, she said that what they did is they had a 3D archery target made in the size and shape of a white-tailed deer, and they turned it into Rudolph the Red-Nosed white-tailed deer about five years ago, and apparently real deer didn't notice the difference, so they were fighting with it. Seriously. Seriously. She's got video of it because nobody believes it, but every year a buccaneer attacks him or and knocks knocks him down and sometimes even breaks him up. So she yeah. had, they have they have to put it back together again every year to redo it. But they have such a big kick out of it because it's kind of funny. And this is a stuffed type. Right, exactly. And 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 they put electricity in it so it has this big bright red nose. Wow. And yet, yet the other the other buck fights with it during running season. That's crazy. So it is pretty cool. So maybe we'll show the video next week because, like I said, if I try to show the video, it screws up the computer here. Oh, because the video and the video screws it up. Right. There's too much for my laptop to handle. If you do it, I can show it. You know. Well, yeah. yeah show me the link or that. All right. So we got seven minutes left. What would you like to do for seven minutes? You have one more short subject and then the uh, then the uh, word of the week. Word of the week. Well, the word of the week is semi-long. Well, not really, but yeah, I don't have any. Long. Why would well, semi-long be a word of the week? Because um, it's something that you made up when you were driving tractor trailer. People do not know what semi-long is. Is it semi-schlong or is it semi-long? No, that's naughty. You're not supposed to be naughty. Why is Santa making a list and checking it twice? Yes, and you're you're on the naughty list again. Now you're going to okay. get socks and underwear for Christmas. All right, yeah, well I did actually. All right, socks. You know, now that's actually a good subject. This is something that the kids always say, and you know, the parents are always telling the kids, you know, you've been naughty. Santa's going to give you coal. You know, Santa does not give coal anymore, right? No, it's too expensive. Well, no, it has not the reason why. Even you don't understand this. All right. Let me explain this for those of you who do not no, get you it. you explain it. Santa has to give children presents. Even if they're naughty, they have to get a present. The yeah, difference, they got to know. It's the like difference tipping your waitress. Is, yes. If you tip your waitress a little bit, she just thinks you're a jerk. You got to tip her off. No, she did a bad job. So basically, this is how this works. In the old days... Santa realized that the naughty kids still need to get a present, but instead of getting what they wanted, he would give them what they needed. And since you heated your house with coal, he would leave a lump of coal in your stocking because you were naughty. You okay. still got a present, but it's something you needed, not what you gotcha. wanted. Okay. Gotcha. Obviously, almost nobody heats their houses with coal anymore, right? Okay. All right. However, Everybody needs socks and underwear, except maybe, never mind. But anyway, so boys and girls need yes, socks well, and underwear. Do you know what the number, you know what the number one and number two things needed in homeless shelters are? Well, yeah, socks and underwear. There you go. So it's something that's needed. So that's what they get instead of a toy. No more coal. Cool. Did you learn no something new today? No. All right, we're down to three minutes, so that should work out pretty good. So we're going to end the show on that? No, I've still got the word of the week. Oh, okay. I thought that was the word of the week. No. The word of the What's week the is wassail. Wassail? Wassail. Do you know what a wassail is? Here we come a wassailing. Yes. But what does it mean? It means they come to wassail. Everybody knows that. Man can't take you anywhere. Apparently, you, you have not, to take everybody places because nobody will take you in. Did you, you not come to Wassel? All right. Here we go. 
Wassel is go. technically a spiced ale or a mold wine drunk during celebrations for Twelfth Night. It's a moldy wine. Christmas Eve. Well, it's a mold wine, not moldy. Okay. All right. So a mighty bowl of wassail in which the apples were hissing and bubbling, which means that they cooked the wine with apples and um, they, they put so the apples in it. Cooked, it's a spice cider, right? However, it also means to. I think she's going to see Spider Man. Drink plentiful amounts of alcohol and enjoy oneself with others in a noisy, lively way. In other words, he feasted and wassailed with his warriors. Or here we come a wassailing. Drinking the spiced wine to keep you warm while you go caroling, and they call that wassailing instead of caroling at the time. Yeah, drinking and drinking and singing. Drinking and singing. It's like going to a karaoke bar. Drinking the more you and drink, singing. the less we stink. Yeah. See, wow. it all tied in. The more you drink, the less we stink. So with that, I want to tell everybody um, Merry Christmas. And uh, next year, next week's show uh, will be New Year's. YouTube, New Year's show. New Year's, although we're live right now on Sunday night before Christmas. So yes. if you're watching this live, get out, get your last minute gifts. Uh, have fun. Uh, celebrate uh, being with your family. That's what I'm going to go do now is celebrate being with my family. And I hope you enjoyed your Christmas presents. Let me know when you light that bad boy up, if it works as cool as it looked on the uh, thing. Where the smoke actually pours down through his nose. Be careful, too. Don't move it around after you set it up. because Oh, yeah, I see how that works. Yeah. And you knock the cone off, then, you know, you could burn yourself by trying to grab right. it. Right. So with that, I want to say thank you for watching. And if you feel our show is not a bad life decision. And you want to see me out in public more, not knowing what the hell I'm doing. Uh, please subscribe, like, watch your other shows and channels. Um, what else? What else? What else? Go down there to our channel. Oh, yeah. Go down there. Go down there. Go, go to whatever.world to our webpage that doesn't work. That's right. What happened? Dot world. Not dot com. Not dot net. Not dot biz. It's dot world. Um, and... Uh, Follow Scott, find fun guy the entertainer cooks for you and watch him cook food better than prison uh, cooks, he says. That's right. And um, we will uh, see you on the next show. So uh, live every day. And uh, like I said, we'll see you on the next show. Be genuinely p positive, live and love life, and Merry Christmas. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh.